Why is my camera not autofocusing? Oh, it's not autofocusing at all. What? Come on. Hello. Don't look. Oh, that looks focused. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Shop Live with Patrick. Hope you guys enjoy this week. This is the week uh, before I leave for Bowl Expo. So, to start off with, we have plug work as always. So, we have one, two, three, four. We have a couple bowling balls that we need to switch from turbo switch grips to it. So, we're going to do those as well. And we also have to do just some major cleaning. Basically, this past weekend was a tournament weekend. Southern Impact Bowling Club ran their handicap singles here in Kenner. Tons of fun. Those guys are absolutely insane whenever it comes to running tournaments. Uh, but I bowled, I qualified for Sunday on my first attempt, and then Sunday I bowled 690 to qualify for match play. Made it through two rounds of match play, lost to Adam Atkins in the second round. If you guys don't know Adam, he is my part-time employee here as well as my seasonal employee. It was just all around a good weekend of bowling. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people from out of town that I haven't seen in a while have come by. So let's get to work. On to the next thing, uh, UPS guy actually just dropped off the box. So, we have to unbox these, get inventory counted, make sure everything is right. Here are the boxes themselves right here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Wow, the lighting looked really good whenever I looked up like that. But yeah, no, we're gonna go ahead and unbox those and get them in the shop, sort it out, whatever needs to go to a customer. We're gonna put the tag on it, call them up, make sure they get their stuff. So, let's go ahead and do that. So let's take a second to talk about uh, how do we convert switch grips to our its that we love to do here in Bowling World. The its are my favorite interchangeable. These are super, super reliable, and I love doing them for all my customers. This customer in particular just switched over to the its, so we need to convert these from one to another without using any plug, hopefully. So what we're going to do is we're first going to drill out this switch grip with the switch grip bit, and then we're going to use our it bit and drill the bottom of the hole like we would with an it. And then we're gonna use one of these conversion rings. It's a one and a half inch ring that sits at the top of the hole. And then we glue this in at the top of the hole. And then we put the it in like normally and then you would just use a one and three eight slug for this. And then that's it, that's all we gotta do. So we're gonna basically drill these out, drill the hole deeper with the it bit, make sure that the depth is right. And then make sure we anchor it in. And then we should be able to have this customer use his its now that he has with these bowling balls. So. Let's get him to the drill press and let's get to work. So, what we're going to do is we're basically going to slam these in with some glue glue them in, make sure they're nice and tight, and then we'll glue in an it into it to make sure that it's all nice and secure. And glue that guy in. All right, cool. That one's done. We're gonna do the same thing here. Some glue there. Some glue right here. And some glue right there. Again, same thing. We're just gonna pop this in right there. Make sure we hold it down for a couple seconds. Once that is glued in, all we're gonna do is do our normal it install process. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We should be able to take this guy out. Once this guy is out, our its are secured. Customer is ready to go. He'll be picking this up tonight. And yeah, that was last thing that we needed to get done for the rest of today. We have a league coming in later. If you've never seen Monday Night of League here before, it's busy as shit. Oh! Yeah, yeah, Daryl. Bowling good today? Try. <laughs> Please proceed straight to stay on 
West Esplanade Avenue South. I'm trying to go nowhere. What, the, what the purpose of me letting you go for? All right, so let's first off talk about exactly what I've been throwing these last few weeks during league. So this knockout right here is the ball that I threw this weekend at the tournament. Uh, it's just my normal pinup layout that I normally do on stuff. Uh, I also drilled this results maximum, which I actually did a video that will go live on TikTok. If you haven't followed me on TikTok, make sure you guys follow me right here at the Pantrick. Uh, the DBA Activate, the Strata Hybrid, and the Raw Solid. These are the six bowling balls or five bowling balls that I've been throwing along with my spare ball. And then in the box that we're sending off to Bowl Expo, we are sending off a Strata Solid, the Dynamic Swing Pearl, and my Spy. Giving me a little bit of everything that I might need while I'm out there. We're gonna send these off to Alex Hanbeck. He's gonna be driving them up to Bowl Expo for us. I didn't wanna send stuff that I am throwing currently during leagues here because of the fact that they've been looking really good. We don't really have much to do other than one ball that we need to resurface and one ball that we need to start plugging that somebody dropped off last night. So let's get to doing things. Let's do it. Center is not open for another 12 minutes or so. We are going to film today the Purple Hammer review. We have Alex right now oiling a pair on 17 18, which it looks like it's done already. Is it already done? You already finished it? Damn, that was fast. He's oiling. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's oiling the pair for us, or already did from the look of it. So we're gonna pull out the Purple Hammers that I got, throw them, do the videos for them. Uh, we got a do a bunch of plug work. We have, I'm sure, people that'll come in as soon as I open looking for things. So, we're gonna go out there, throw the purple hammer. You guys will see it again in this video right here. If you haven't yet, check that out. Make sure you guys check that out. Again, hit the like and subscribe button as well. Leave a comment down below if you guys wanna see me do any ball reviews in any sort. I always like seeing the comments and interacting with those comments. music in the shop all the time uh, so if you guys have any recommendations on music to listen to while you're in like a working mood leave a Spotify playlist down below if you guys have a good one and let's check those out why not last one needs to go up there uh, okay wait hold up this is my purple hammer box this can actually go out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and also clean this up here in a second so you guys will see this clean in uh, three and a two and a one and it's still not clean, but I'll clean it here in a second. Alright, 
So there was James throwing the new DBA Activate. If you guys don't already know where to go, make sure you guys go to bowlingworld.biz be able to purchase that today. That released last week, and he was the first person to draw one of those in stock. So we have Adam Atkins here, again, Weber International student. Look at this Fifi logo. But he's gonna draw a dynamic swing pearl. Adam, what layer are we going with? Uh, the typical Adam, 55 by 5 by 20. 55 by 5 by 20, again, dynamic swing pearl. Adam lays out all his stuff and then lets me drill the holes into him because of the fact that it makes it easier. He knows what he wants, I know what I need to do quickly, and yeah. And that what that gonna look like. Where's the fingers and thumb, Adam? Fingers will be somewhere around here. Thumb somewhere down here. Oh. All right, so there he goes. Another ball that I'll probably shoot 800, 300 with. Cause he just drove, well, what did we drill last week, Adam, that we shot 300, 800 with? Raw solid. Yeah. The black raw. The black raw solid. We so. shall see. Um, First 800 was with Ace and Pearl, so. Oh, there you go. First 300 with an Ace and Pearl. Ace and Pearl from Columbia 300, and that ball has been a sleeper bowling ball in the community. So, there you go, off he goes. All right, it is Friday. I'm gonna go get my second COVID shot. We're gonna walk down to the CVS that's gonna give it to me because it's only like five minutes down the road. I'm gonna do that, then I have to stop by the bank, make a deposit because of the fact that the last few days we've been slammed and we've done a lot of cash sales. Uh, again, we have state tournament this weekend, so we are going to be at the bowling center eight o'clock in the morning both days this weekend. Uh, so let's get into Friday. Turn off this handy dandy light, which by the way, nice. Oh, look at the lighting. Boom. All right, back to darkness. But let's go walk down to CVS and get the day started. I think it's currently like 80 degrees, 90 degrees, and I feel the sweat slowly dripping down my shirt. All right, so it's currently 137. I am going to start pulling out plug work. I do know that I have to drill a couple bowling balls that are coming in, so let's get to it. Ryan, I'm feeling like rock and roll music today for some reason, and that's what I'm listening to, so pick whatever your favorite rock and roll music you can put on the video, so. So Adam, Hi. how's the dynamic swing pearl? It's good, but I'm bad. It's good, but you're bad? What did you just do not even a game ago with the ball? I shot a practice 300. It's still a 300. But it doesn't count. It's still a 300. It doesn't count. What, do you, what are you guys' opinion? Does a 300 in practice still count? Or should it not? You know how many of those I have? Okay, buddy. What's your guys' opinion? Is a practice 300 counted or not counted? I, I would count them, but at the same time, I don't have as many as he does. So Adam, what are we doing? We're about to have the Holy Trinity yeah, in approximately 15 minutes. We are now drilling him a raw hybrid. So we got raw hybrid, raw pearl, and raw solid. He's hitting it currently with 1500 grit just to take the polish off of it. This is your onions, your bell peppers, your celery, your Holy Trinity. This is how we start off things. What's the layout we're going with as usual? A typical Adam Atkins, 50 by 5 by 20. Same as all the other Raws. We get to watch Adam throw a ball. Let's see if he hit this line. I 
Adam always double checks. Oh, look at that. It's not close. It's off. You can tell. I'd be the off. The camera can tell. I'd be off a 32nd. 32nd? That's a whole 16th. Don't lie to me. 32nd? It's a 16th. There no. you go. Now we're on the money. sand things out, glue in an itch, and probably strike a ton with it. Let's take a look at what the uh, tournament looks like so far. Somebody's about to shoot 300, it looks like, so I'm gonna try to get that on video. We have a front eight, a front nine, and then I think that's the only thing going on right now. So we're gonna take a look around and see what's going on. All right, we got Tyler Wright, front nine. Great shot, he's throwing the results max. Sunday morning league is going. Again, biggest Sunday league that I've ever experienced in my life here in Kenner. Uh, so they're going right now. They just started up their practice. The state tournament is currently going through five frames or so. A lot of good bowling happening. I see a lot of strings. We got one, two, three, four, five or so strings. So we got tons of people striking in this building. All right, guys, thank you for watching episode nine of Shop Life with Patrick. I appreciate you guys always for coming by. Make sure you guys drop a like down below, leave a comment on what you would like to see next in this vlog series. The next several vlog episodes that you guys are gonna see are gonna be mini vlog episodes of Bowl Expo. So all the new things coming from Bowl Expo, all the things that I'm allowed to show you that are gonna be at Bowl Expo, from new products, to new technology that's being formulated for the sport of bowling. All those different things, we're gonna see a bunch of crazy stuff. There's gonna be a tournament somewhere in between there. So, appreciate you guys so, so much. I have to get going here. It is currently 2.30. I am gonna start closing up shop and getting things cleaned up and prepped for tomorrow. See you guys on the next one again. Peace out, take care guys.